Welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Today I'm going to be doing something that is really, really easy, but it will take a little bit of while because we're going to do it in the crock pot. We're going to be doing beef barbecue ribs. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need in order to make this delicious meal. Of course, you're going to need the beef ribs. And here I have them here. I'm going to go away and slice each bone down so we can prepare it. The other ingredients are going to be barbecue sauce. And you know I make my own. That's why it's in this big container. You're going to need oregano, granulated garlic, running out of granulated onion powder, but I have enough just to complete this. Paprika, chili powder, liquid smoke. That's going to give it so much flavor. A onion and some brown sugar. Now I'm going to go away, get everything prepared, and I'm going to meet you at the crock pot. Be right back. All right, now I'm back, and here I have all of my seasonings, and I'm just going to mix them up together. That's my brown sugar, paprika, garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder, and the oregano. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up because it'll be a lot faster instead of trying to sprinkle uh, each one of the seasonings over the ribs. And like I told you, we were going to cook them in the, in the slow cooker and we're going to cook it on high. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place everything in the slow cooker and then I'm going to place the ingredients in here as well. Now if you choose to oil up your um, your your ribs you can do so. I don't do that because there's already, there's already a lot of fat especially when you're cooking it in the slow cooker there's already a lot of fat that's going to come from it so i don't really think that that's necessary so here all of my dry ingredients have been mixed together okay now i'm just going to go ahead and start to put my ribs in and i'm going to sprinkle some liquid smoke on top of them so we're going to go ahead and put in like a layer then i'm going to Put some liquid smoke on. Can you see and show them inside of the pot? Okay, that's good. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is covered so it just really has some liquid smoke flavor. Now, at this point, I have a layer of ribs, so I'm going to go ahead and put a layer of onions. On top of that layer of onions, I'm going to go ahead and mix, well, a little bit of my dry seasoning mix that I already have on it. Then I'm going to continue the process. And I'm going to continue this until I complete it. Now, it's not necessary for everything to sit separately because um, they're going to all still finish up at the same time anyway. So you want to try to get as many of them as you can in here. And I can get one more. So I'm going to utilize that little space. Then we're going to put a little bit more of the onion in there. Then we're going to go ahead and put some more of the seasonings in. Coming on up. Now this is really, this is the hardest thing that you're going to do. You're not going to do anything else hard because the slow cooker is actually designed to do all of the cooking, you know, where you don't have to watch it and you don't have to do it. So that's the benefit of the slow cooker. You can just walk away from it and when it come, when you come back, if you're ready to eat, you can go ahead and eat. Now it doesn't matter because I put the onions in first and then I put the... Uh, the liquid smoke on top of that, that doesn't matter. Just make sure that you get it all in. Okay, and now I'm going to put in my last little bit. Now, all of my ribs are in here. And when this gets done, this is going to be so so good now i don't know if i mentioned this but i'm gonna cook this on high 
And that's going to be for at least about five hours that it's going to cook. And then when it gets tender, then you're going to see me come back and I'm going to put on my barbecue sauce. So I'll show you that step. I'll still come back halfway through the cooking process and show you what these ribs look like. And at that time, if we have a lot of liquids, I'll go ahead and get rid of some of it. Okay, so that's the way it looks. I'm going to go ahead and put the slow cooker or the crock pot down over into the slow cooker, the burner part of it. I'm going to cover it and allow it to do its thing. I will add about a fourth of a... Um, a fourth of a cup of water. That's not a lot of water. That's a small amount. A fourth of a cup. And then I'll start it. Be back halfway through. Okay, now we're back. And I just want to show you because they're very, very close to being done. Actually, we, they got about 20 more minutes of cooking before I add the sauce. And right now, they're almost fall off the bone. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go away, allow it to cook for about 20 more minutes. Then I'm going to take all of the grease. See, the grease is what you don't want. I'm going to take it all out, and then I'm going to come back, add the sauce, give it 20 more minutes, and I'll dish you up a plate. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back. It's been about 20 minutes, and I did pull some of my bones, and I did take out all of my excess liquids, and I'm going to go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on these and then I'm gonna let them just simmer in here for about another 20 minutes and when I fix up a plate I'll just add some more but I did taste it they are truly tender I didn't um, I omitted the salt on purpose because I didn't feel that it needed any and it really didn't but and I'm not you know, I don't eat a whole lot of salt. But if you decide that you want to add salt to your ribs, by all means do that. Any other seasonings that you may want to add, go ahead and do that. Okay. okay. All right, now I'm going to let this cook for another 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll bring you back and dish you up a plate. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back, and I think that everything is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and put up the um, ribs. And anything that I miss with meat, then what I'll do is I have some more sauce. So I'll just go ahead and put the sauce on the plate. Now you have big bones, but that doesn't need any more salt. So you have big bones, and this is what I cooked tonight. I made the, I made cornbread, black eyed peas, canned corn, which is really whole kernel corn, and I did the beef uh, spare ribs or the beef ribs, and I know that everything is gonna work out good. Okay, this is plenty tender. I can hold that bone down. See, see how it comes off the bone. That's because we cooked it in a slow cooker, and I'll probably just pull these bones, which I wasn't going to do it on here, but you see it just comes right out, so I'll pull those bones so to make it easier to eat, and there you have it. I have a little bit of sauce over here, so if I need some more, I'll just go ahead and put it on there okay there you have it that's what Chris is having for dinner tonight and I think that if you tried it you are truly going to enjoy it and it's a meal that will really hit the spot <laughs> okay just wanted to bring you what I was having for tonight and as always thank you for watching Chris cook for you too bye